When Manchuria people lived outside the Shanghai Pass, they were hunters and gatherers. Pan Fa and Bao Tou were hairstyles that convenient for ladies who performed these activities. Court ladies kept those hairstyles in the early age of Qing Dynasty. With the development of the Qing Dynasty, Pan Fa was abandoned by the court ladies. And the bottle became Dianzi. Xiaolianba was another hairstyle that was popular in the early age of Qing Dynasty, but it appeared later than Pan Fa and the bottle. Xiaolianba only used real hair, which means this hairstyle could not support heavy hairpins. So. Xiaolianba was usually decorated by real or artificial flowers, sometimes added light hairpins. Xiaolianba was replaced by Liangba Tou. At the beginning, Liangba Tou was made by both real and artificial hairs, but with the court ladies get more beautiful hairpins, they wanted their hair could support more decorations. The court ladies used bian fang and other assistant tools to make the liang ba tou bigger and stronger. After the improvement, liang ba tou could handle many heavy hairpins. In the late Qing dynasty, the empress daughter Chi Xi made a further improvement. She invented da la chi, Technically, da la chi wasn't a hairstyle because no hair was used in da la chi, even artificial hair. Da la chi was made by black clothes. This means no one could stop it became bigger. In the early age of the Republic of China, da la chi raised to 33 centimeters. I gave them a name, Da La Chi Plus. With the revolution of China, Da La Chi Plus and other traditional clothes were disappeared in people's daily life. Thank you for watching this video. Tomorrow, let's meet the Dunhuang Gongyang Ren, supporters of Dunhuang.